In class activity three, for a control system with open loop gain k g p of s h of s, which equals k over s plus one times s plus two times s plus 10, design a PI controller by selecting values for kp and ki, such that the system has a transient response with zeta equal to 0 0.707 and a zero steady state error for a step input. So remember a PI controller is like a lag controller. So to design this, we are going to use step one And first thing I'm going to do is to make a sketch of the root locus. So here we have a pole at negative one, a pole at negative two, and a pole way out here at negative 10. So this pole goes to infinity as k goes to infinity. And these two poles come together and veer off like this. So since we want to have zeta equal to 0 0.707, we know that for our design, we need to place the poles somewhere around here. So we're going to use our equating of the desired characteristic equation in order to solve this one. So first we have the delta of s is equal to s cubed plus 13s squared plus 32s plus 20 plus k. And our desired delta of s is s plus a times s plus p plus jp. That's because we know we want zeta to equal to 0 0.707 which means that the angle is 45 degrees, so the real and the imaginary part of the pole has to be the same, times S plus P minus JP. So our desired characteristic equation is S cubed plus 2P plus A S squared plus 2P squared plus 2P plus A times S, plus 2p squared a. When we solve the system of equations, we get that k must equal 18.8, and the poles are at negative 1.376, plus or minus j, 1.376, and negative 10.25. And we are now ready to move on to step seven. So for step seven, we have K GC of S, GP of S, H of S is equal to 18.8 over S plus one times S plus two times s plus 10 times the pi controller which is kp times s plus ki over kp divided by s so we're going to select a value such as we're going to let ki over kp equal to a very small number like 0 0.01 and then use the magnitude criterion in order to get both, both values. So our magnitude criterion is the magnitude of 18.8 kp times s plus 0 0.01 over s plus 1 times s plus 2 times s plus 10 times s has to equal 1 when my s is at negative 1.376 plus j 1.376. And when we solve this equation, 
we get that KP must equal one and KI must equal 0 0.01. So the controller GC of S is equal to S plus 0 0.01 over S. And our last step is going to be to check our work. Step eight. So first I'm gonna write the full equation for the compensated system. So I have K, GC of S, GP of S, H of S equals 18.8 .8 times S plus 0 0.01 over S times S plus one times S plus two times S plus 10 and this is a type one system. So I immediately know that the steady state error is equal to zero. Check. And the characteristic equation, delta of S is equal to S to the fourth plus 13 S cubed plus 32 S squared plus 38.8 S plus 0.188 which has poles at negative 1.37 plus or minus j 1.37 and also a pole at negative 10.25 and a pole at negative 4.86 so check that one also does meet my requirements so here is the MATLAB plot of the uncompensated system on the left for the root locus and step response and the compensated system on the right for the root locus and the step response. What you should notice is that there's really not much change in the root locus because that pole and zero essentially cancel each other out. However, you do see a significant difference in the step response for a unit step input. The left one has a significant steady state error and the right one has a steady state error of zero. However, it rises very quickly but then the settling time is hugely different. Whereas the settling time for the uncompensated system was about six seconds, it's now up to around 800 seconds. So you obviously would need something else with this compensator in order for it to be useful for your needs.